Hello my loves, I'm Miss Mon Mon, welcome to my channel and happy Easter to you all. Today I have a quick little video to share with you all. It's not so much a tutorial as a watch me figure this out and fail slightly kind of video on how to make a vintage inspired Easter corsage and or bonnet. In the 1940s and 50s, Easter bonnets and corsages were hugely popular. Ladies used to match their bonnets to their outfits, they had special beautiful theming, and some of them are a little bit bizarre and big, which I'm all about. I have always wanted to make a really large corsage for myself, so that is what I will be doing for you today. This is the corsage and Easter bonnet that I made. The bonnet was supposed to be simple and small, but I got really overexcited by all the flowers I had and it just sort of kept growing, which is why it's become more of a flower crown than anything else, but I'm okay with that. As I said, this is not a how-to guide, but I really just wanted to spend some time with you and craft a little bit. So if that's what you would like to see, keep a watching. For this project, we are going to be using some 12 gauge wire. I have my trusty hot glue gun, and some spare glue. I have some paper plates which I am hoping will become the base of our corsage but we'll see how we go. I have some yellow ribbon to wrap around my corsage and my headpiece. Some foliage, all the yellow and blue flowers I could fit into my budget and some wire cutters and pliers for shaping my wire and a styrofoam head mannequin just to use as a guide. I don't really have a method for how I'm going to make this. My idea is I'm going to use the paper plate and cut out a corsage-like shape. And to that, I will adhere all of my flowers in what I hope to be an aesthetically pleasing way. Now, the reason I don't want this to be a full tutorial is mainly because it's not finished that well and I just kind of feel embarrassed that it's just Glue flowers onto a paper plate, add your pin, and it's done. <laughs> but that's kind of all it is. Now my Easter bonnet has been a bit of a challenge. The original ways that I wanted to do it just sort of weren't working out and what it came down to was my wire was way too soft. 12 gauge wire is not the best for this. I would definitely go up to a 14 or even a 16 gauge, but 12 is not where it's at. My Easter bonnet slash flower crown, yeah, it's, it's a little bit questionable. Unfortunately, my camera ran out of filming space, so I don't actually know how much footage I've lost at this point. With a couple of cups of tea and a good movie in the background, I completed this in just under an hour and a half. I had a lot of fun. I sort of get into the crafting zone, which is probably why I didn't realize that my camera had stopped filming. I am really happy with how the corsage turned out. It's got two pins in the back, which are definitely holding on quite sturdy. As for the bonnet, it's not really a bonnet. It is definitely a flower crown. So my idea sort of was gone with the wind and this is what I came up with. I'm still really happy with how it turned out. I, yeah, I love the corsage. I'm okay with the bonnet, we'll see how it goes. If you would like to read a little bit more about this project and my thought process behind it, as well as a little bit more about the true vintage Easter bonnets and corsages, all of that can be found on my blog, which is linked in the description box below. Let me know what you thought of this. If you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them as quickly as I can. 
If you haven't and you'd like to, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel as well as feel free to find me on any of my social medias. All of them are linked down below in the description box. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful Easter. Don't forget to be kind, be true, be you. And I'll see you guys all next week with a brand new video. Bye.